Hi guys, what's up? Tori here. So, um, recording in a slightly different space today, but I am here to do a little bonus video for you guys. Um, and this video is just going to be me talking all about um, being pregnant after having a weight loss surgery. Um, just because I feel like like I've done like research to like find my own like YouTube videos on this topic and subject just because like I was curious myself on kind of how it was for other people and things like that. Um, and there really wasn't a ton out there. So I want to make a video just kind of talking in general about being pregnant after weight loss surgery. What are the challenges? What are things that maybe are different with being pregnant after a weight loss surgery versus if you're pregnant normally and things like that. So first off, let me just like with a in general baseline start with saying that having weight loss surgery and going through a weight loss journey is its own big process and journey of its own. And you learn things new about your body as you go through that and all of that. And in my case, like I, like I learned a lot, like I, in my whole lifestyle changed, I eat totally different than I ever used to. Um, I eat definitely way, way less than I ever used to. I eat ext way, way more healthier than I ever used to. And I definitely am much more active and unable to work out more and things like that and just live a much more fuller life. And I'm so grateful for that. And actually, because I had that surgery and lost all my weight, I, the fact that I'm even pregnant right now is because of that. And like that is definitely amazing. It made it so I was able to get pregnant way easier than I thought I was going to be able to. And it's making it so I can actually have a pretty healthy pregnancy too. Because if I hadn't lost my weight and had that surgery... I would not have a anywhere near as healthy of a pregnancy as I do right now. Yes, I am still considered more high risk, um, which I've discussed in my pregnancy update videos, but it I'm still, at this point, I'm still doing great and so is baby girl here and like that's what's important. And honestly, that probably would not be the case if I hadn't had my weight loss surgery. So, but that doesn't mean it still hasn't been a struggle. Now, my OB, because of my weight loss surgery status, and I'm going to talk about only the weight loss surgery status part of my higher risk, um, because the other two things involved with it don't really have to do with weight loss surgery, so I'm only going to talk about the weight loss surgery aspect. The main thing my OB is having me do with being considered more with, um, because of the fact that I had a weight loss surgery is... Um, when I go to maternal fetal medicine um, monthly for a regular ultrasound, like I'm getting ultrasound, an ultrasound done way more than the average pregnant woman would. The average pregnant woman probably gets only two, maybe three ultrasounds throughout their entire pregnancy, just kind of depending. Me, I am literally going to have probably a total of almost nine ultrasounds because I'm pretty much going in monthly. I have had, so far, I had one done at, I was, it was my dating ultrasound, which I was a little over eight weeks when I had that ultrasound, and then I was 12 weeks when I had my first ultrasound done at maternal fetal medicine, and my last one I had done, I was 18 weeks, and I'm going to be having one done again very soon here at 22 weeks, so that'll already be four ultrasounds done, and I'll probably have at least one more each month until she is born, if not more depending on things but um so that is the thing and they are doing that to monitor her growth because of the fact that i had weight loss surgery i can't eat as much in a sitting as most people can now i am much further out from my weight loss surgery than you know some people might be when they get pregnant like i'm i'll be five years out from my surgery in september so like i am able to eat more than somebody like who's only like a month post-op from their weight loss surgery. So like, I mean, I'm able to eat, I would say a healthy amount of food, but it's still definitely less than probably the average person would be able to eat. And so they just want to make sure that I'm taking in enough and that she's still growing in the way she's supposed to and that my nutrient levels are all staying where they're supposed to and I'm getting in enough nutrients for both me and baby girl. So like that's kind of the main thing they are watching weight loss surgery wise. And obviously too, them they're monitoring my weight gain and making sure that I'm gaining it where I'm supposed to and I'm not gaining too little or too much, that kind of thing. So obviously that's being watched carefully as well. So, and like with that all on my mind, I would say the biggest challenges I've had with having weight loss surgery and being pregnant 
is definitely <laughs> just the in general watching my eating. Um, it didn't help that the whole COVID thing hit too. <laughs> like I like literally COVID started probably at the time she got conceived is <laughs> when it started. Um, when you know you do the math on it and think back on it, but um, and. So like that didn't help things either, but like the channel, it was definitely most challenging in the first trimester because of the fact that I had so often where food just didn't sound good. Nothing sounded good to eat. I didn't want to eat anything. And I literally just eat whatever sounded good to me in the moment. And half the time it wasn't things that I would typically eat. Like, and it tended to be a lot of things more on the carb side. Um, and then too, like when I had the times of just like, feeling sick and like then I just didn't want to eat anything at all and then like I said when I would be like I need to eat something to try to help keep me from feeling sick I would lean towards things more higher in carbs like I would lean towards things like crackers or a piece of toast or something that I figured would just sit in my stomach nice and not make me feel sick or I would just go for something that sounded really good like I remember a lot of the times eggs always sounded really good and like cheese always sounded really good for whatever reason um but like I would lean towards things that just anything that would sound good and like that's just what I would eat and two you get so many mixed messages sent to you when it comes to your diet while being pregnant because like you get told like you need to be getting in all this these different nutrients and stuff for your baby because your baby really needs this but yet for me like the way my diet is since having weight loss surgery is so different like I have a typical typically my diet is very high protein, lower carb, and majority of the carbs that I do get come from like fruit and vegetables. Like they come from healthy carbs, not from like the empty calorie, not as good for you carbs. Like I don't honestly eat like bread, pasta, rice, that kind of stuff near as much as I used to. Like I, I mean, I still have it here and there a little bit once in a while. Like I would say like carbs like that, I have maybe like I won't even say necessarily once a day, but like, you know, if that once a day, but hardly ever. Like, I don't eat that kind of stuff hardly ever anymore. It's like, honestly, I probably would say lean more towards a couple times a week that I actually have that kind of carbs. Um, the things like pasta, bread, rice, those things. In sweets, definitely, I've cut way back on. I don't have like super high sugary things hard very often anymore. Again, I do still have them sometimes. Like, my husband and I will still go out for the occasional ice cream or like when we have Sunday dinner with my family, there's always dessert and I usually always have a little tiny bit of dessert on Sunday. So like the amount of sweets and stuff I eat too is way less than normal, but to the challenge with that has been like cravings. Like I, the, when cravings hit, I'm almost... I've had a lot of really healthy food cravings, like I won't lie, like it surprised me a little bit that I've had a lot more healthy food cravings than unhealthy food cravings, but when the unhealthy food cravings hit, it is so hard to like make myself be like, I don't need to get that right now, I don't need to eat that, I don't need that, like it's really, it really is challenging, like lately it's been like I've been wanting donuts and I'm just like, no, I don't need a donut, like a donut is like the epitome of unhealthy, like there's nothing about a donut that I need and fighting those cravings can be really hard as well. And yeah, fighting all like the mixed messages you get about your diet. And like when I talk to my OB about like, what should my diet be like, given that I had weight loss surgery and he actually told me straight up, he's like, just keep eating the way you've been taught since you've had your weight loss surgery. Like just keep being as healthy as you can for yourself and your baby and just keep eating the way you always have to the best that you can. He's like, obviously there are probably moments where you, you know, have a little nausea. So you have a few crackers or something that you normally don't eat, but he's like, for the most part, just try to eat as healthy as you can and make sure you get in your protein and your fruits. Like he even told me like, get in your protein and fruits and vegetables. Like those are the main things that are important for you to get in. And then obviously work in a little bit of carbs, but try not to have as much of that. And I was like, you know what? I like that he said that because that just made me like put my brain like in like, you know what, just focus on doing what you've always done. And then once second trimester hit, it did become much easier for me to just like when a lot of like the food aversions and sickness like went away, it made it so much easier for me to eat healthier. Now I still get the occasional insane craving 
that I have to fight. And every very every once in a while, it's been very rare. I will cave into the craving, but it's been very rare that I've done it. <laughs> I will be I will say I have done it, but it's been rare. I have not hardly done it. Um, and so pretty much like that's what I've been doing. I've been and lately it's been especially with being back to work now too after being laid off with the whole COVID thing for a while and now being back to work like I'm back in my solid routine. Um, cuz that's been the other hard part is I was extremely super active too for a while and with the gyms getting closed and then like around here in Michigan for a long time the weather wasn't even the greatest and it was just like it was hard to get in good exercise and home workouts like I was trying to do them somewhat but like I'm not I will be honest and say I'm not a huge fan of at home workouts I'm just not like I'll do them and I can sometimes find ones that I enjoy doing for a little while but there I never have found one that I just love to keep doing and doing and doing and doing nonstop. um and actually the one that I kind of don't mind continuing to do, I've had to kind of stop doing because it started becoming too much and a little too difficult to do with being pregnant. So, and that's kind of the hard part too with the whole exercise thing is finding exercises that are safe to do while pregnant and that are comfortable for me to do while pregnant. So what I've mostly been doing is just going for evening walks and that's really been helping a lot. And like I have done a little bit, like I do have some eight pound dumbbells and I have done a little bit of like, weightlifting and some other like little exercises here and there on occasion I haven't done them like super consistently but I've done some other little exercises here and there too but uh, mostly what I've been doing is just going for an evening walk like I'll come home from work and me and Matt will have dinner and have a little time together I go for my evening walk and like then we settle down for the night after that and that's been nice and I've been getting in more steps and I've been and like just being back on a good routine too of being like and like I have set times too now that I eat so it's like just having that routine helps me I'm a very routine person so being pregnant after weight loss surgery and kind of being able to get back into that routine has helped me to maintain a proper weight gain because you know that's the thing is like I need I want to make sure I'm keeping up with a good weight gain and my like second time seeing my OB my he was I just said the first two times I saw my OB, he was like, your weight gain is maybe a hair more than I'd like to see right now, but like not anything I'm concerned about, you know, just be mindful about it. And it's like in my head too, like having like for me in my head, having had all this weight loss and being like, oh my gosh, no, I'm gaining too much. Like it, it just freaks me out because that's just for me, it's like weight gain is bad. And when he's telling me I'm starting to gain too much, like it makes me totally freak out. But oh no, I'm going to gain too much in this pregnancy and I'm going to go completely backwards. I'm going to have all this weight back on that I won't be able to lose after pregnancy. Like it just puts my brain into like overdrive. And so like when I was finally able to get back into my solid routine and work it out, like it's been so much better. And now at, from, at my last appointment, I was told my weight gain is perfectly fine and on track and where it should be he had zero concerns and that made me be like Phew. okay so I'm doing good now I'm I'm doing what I should be for me and my baby so and I think the mental piece is what's the most challenging part is for first off convincing yourself it's okay to put on weight because you are pregnant you are growing a human you're gonna put on weight it's just gonna happen so like it's just that mental battle that I think is the hardest part is you know being like okay you gotta be okay with gaining weight and then also not beating yourself up too much over too much weight gain. So in my mind I'm like as long as throughout my pregnancy I remain in that like healthy weight gain zone. I mean if I go a little tiny bit over that healthy weight gain zone like I'm not gonna be like oh my gosh like I'm just telling myself like remain in that healthy weight gain zone and don't gain too much like that's just kind of what I keep telling myself and what I keep saying to myself um and be, I just keep being you know telling myself like just stay on track stay eating the best you can and do the best you can and that's all you can do so um from this I'm just going to go ahead and leave some tips for any of you else, others that are um, pregnant after weight loss surgery first off definitely lean on your doctors and ask questions ask for tips advice help um, go to other people that maybe have had weight loss surgery as well and have been pregnant and get tips and advice from them I got some really good advice from a lady in one of in my bariatric support group that I go to and she gave me such great advice and just helped like to calm me down when I first was having some freakouts about my weight gain 
And she did, she just helped me kind of like get level headed again and calm back down and just be like, just do your thing and you'll be okay. Like, and just remember that like, you know, you're healthy now and you're able to be pregnant and just look at it like that. And it just kind of was like, Phew. so, um, lean on all the resources and help you can find and just always just keep doing what you've been taught since you've had your weight loss surgery and keep just doing the very best you can be the best you can eat as healthy as you can exercise as much as you can just listen to your body and do your best like that's all you can do and that is what I'm learning to do myself um and it's definitely a challenge <laughs> dealing with pregnancy after having a weight loss surgery is its own journey and challenge of its own and it's been a challenge it's been a journey it's been a learning process for me and it will be for you too but once you figure out that rhythm and for yourself, it'll be much easier. Like now that I've kind of figured out my rhythm and what works for me, I am doing much better and I'm feeling much better about it and all good all and really good all around. So um, that's what, all I can say is just do the best you can, lean on people for help um, and all that because it's, it's a mental battle, it's a physical battle. So um, and just as long as you're following your doctor's guidelines and all of that, like you and your baby will be great and you'll have a healthy baby in the end. And that's my only goal is to have a healthy baby in the end. And, um, just also be grateful for the fact that you are pregnant because probably if you hadn't lost the weight you had, you wouldn't necessarily be pregnant or even be having near as healthy of a pregnancy. So just be thankful and take it all as a blessing too and enjoy the ride. So that's pretty much everything I have to say regarding the subject. I'm going to end it here before it gets any longer. If you have any questions or comments or anything for me about the subject, please leave it in the comment section below. I would love to help you out in any way I can um, about this process. So please, please reach out if you need it. I want to help you if I can. Love you guys so, so much. God bless you. And I will see you all in my next video. Bye.